Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz and today I'm going to be talking about supremacy and why do we lose? Well, there are basic mistakes that a lot of people make, let's be honest. So I'm going to show you two different games. Firstly, this one on the EU server and the second one on the Asian server. Now, in both instances, these were games that, they're both losses, but they're games that we could have, and realistically, should have won, but for silly little mistakes. So here we are rolling out in a Tiger P on Halas, and you can see from the mini-map that the team is split already. We've got a couple of us, three of us now, going to the A cap and the rest of the team brawling with the majority of the red team and the enemy at the C cap. Now that's mistake number one. There are two green tanks against the majority of the red tanks at C. The guys at C need to get out of there and they're not, they're brawling and it is a brawl they're gonna lose. We've already lost one tank up there now you can see that we're about to lose a second tank, which we've done, and now we're going to lose a third tank. Bad, bad decision making. That's just what that is. And the thing is, when you are faced with multiple enemies, there's nothing wrong with turning around and running away. Especially when those tanks were actually mediums, if you, if you look, they were medium tanks. So they had the ability to run away. And we've got two caps, which means points-wise, we are up. Now it's, well, basically four against six. I'm gonna tell my team to hold, but they decide not to. They decide to push. And that confuses me. There is no need for anybody on my team to push at this moment in time because the red team have to push us. They have no choice. They need to push either to get the kills or to get the caps. We realistically are in a great position, but we throw that position away. And as you can see, our tanks are whittling down left, right and center. Why? Because we're pushing unnecessarily. There are hold down positions. All we needed to do was defend these two caps. And no matter how many times I shouted hold position, my team decided to push. This was a game, despite the fact that the odds were against us, we could have won and we should have won. And we didn't because of the mindset that people want to push. So what to do? It's just the way it works. Now I'm going to show you another supremacy game. This time on the Asia server. Then this time I'm going to roll out in a stock VK101P. Now I've seen the lineup of the other team and I know they are going to be primarily going to the C cap. So I tell everybody I'm going to A. And then I tell everybody, guys, realistically, let's go to A and B. Their team set up Meta-wise tells me they are going to the C cap. So I say A and B and I'm told negative. They want to go to C and I'm like, well, okay, clearly you know better. So go to C and you, you go, the enemy team is popping one, two, three, four. Oh, I despair. And this is an inability to read the makeup of the enemy team. Again, you can see a majority of our tanks, except me, are at the C cap and they are going to push. Why? There is no reason for them to push into C. They're not even capping C, if you notice. They are focused primarily on killing tanks. Guys, this is a supremacy game. The idea of supremacy is either A, wipe the other team out or B, win on points. Now. Two tanks on the enemy side have come this way, a Borsig and a Tiger II. And I'm gonna brawl with these. Well, I'm not gonna brawl with them. I'm gonna try and defend this position. I tried to cap A, couldn't, not a problem. I have one tank in support, that's fine. 
And if you look at the minimap, we are losing the flank over on the sea cap. The red team are going to start destroying my team very, very shortly because my team decided to brawl and they shouldn't have. And this is one of the problems I see recurring all the time. Don't rush. You're given seven minutes. The idea of the game is not to run around in 30 seconds and kill everybody, but to take your time to have a strategy and to outsmart the other team. General Patton once said that nobody won a war for dying for their country. They only win wars by making the other poor sod die for his. And that is the same in Blitz. You will not win the game if you die for your team. The only way you win the game is if you make the other team die. That means you need to make them make the mistake. And you then need to punish them for their mistakes. We haven't done that here. The red team punished us for our mistakes. Now we could have easily capped A and B. Seriously, we could have capped A and B, we could have been up on points, we would have had more guns on the battlefield, and this was a game that we could have won. We haven't won it, and we're not going to win it. Now it's four against three. We are still in a great position to win. I've still got a lot of hit points in a formidable tank, and I've got two other tanks in support. And here goes the Tiger 1, pushing. There's no need for the Tiger 1 to push. All he needs to do is defend that cap. Make sure that nobody jumps into B. He doesn't need to go into B at all. He just needs to defend because the other team will push. I can see the Panther is desperate to push. I also know they have an AMX and I also know they have a KB-4 and an IS-3. I'm not too concerned about the KB-4 and the IS-3 coming down. I'm more concerned about the AMX and the Panther. Oh, that's a bad shot. And to be honest with you, that's a shot that lost the game. So now it's me against four because the other two tanks decided to push, which was a bad, bad mistake. All we needed to do was hunker down, reset the cap, and I'm gonna take the Panther out now. We could have just reset the cap and everything would have been great. We would have been in a dominant position. If I had ever had the Tiger and the Bulldog, I think it was, in support up the top here with me, the red team would not have won this game simple so guys you've got to get out of this mindset that once you see a red tank brawl there is no shame in backing off relocating and doing that and you know if you watch the pro tours and i know a lot of people don't watch the pro tours but if you watch the pro tours a lot of what they do is rotating the maps relocating, getting into different positions, and they're using strategy. And Blitz is a strategic game. You know, it, 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 it always surprises me that people think it isn't, that they think it's just get in a tank and run around like a crazy fool and kill everything and everything would be great. Change your mindset. Be more strategic. Think of it like a game of chess. Now I know the KB4 is heading to the A cap, but he takes me by surprise because I thought he was almost up the top and he's not. And I'm a bigger tank than him. I get spotted, he gets spotted, I get one in. But he plays a really good game. I'm side on, there's nothing I can do. It is a whopping loss. And it shouldn't have been. That was a game we should have won. Oh, anyway, I've been Fujit. Guys, take your time, approach it strategically. Have a mindset. Read the makeup of the tanks on the other side. Try to get an understanding of where they're going to go. Anticipate it. Don't rush. Worst thing you can do is rush. Do a chess move on the teams. Anyway, I just wanted to get that out there. Supremacy is different to encounter, um, I, I, I admit. But the same principles apply. Try not to rush. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been a quick video on 
Be more sensible. Make sensible decisions. I hope you enjoyed that. By all means, comment, like, and everything below. If you haven't yet pressed subscribe, please do so. It's a lovely thing to do. It costs you nothing. It makes me happy. If you've got any decent replays, wing them across to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. I'd like to give a big shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing. And to my Patreons, who without them, videos like this would be a lot harder to do. And until the next time, I will say my usual stuff. Stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because, you know, that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.